Tell me about how you're using AI during this whole integration period of drug repurposing. Sure. So we use AI to scan across everything the world knows about every drug and every disease, and then to look for the points of connection between drugs and diseases. So I shared about how Viagra is very famous for having gone from being a treatment for heart disease to its well-known use. But interestingly, it also treats a rare pediatric lung disease because these kids were dying because they weren't getting enough blood flow to their lungs. Well, Viagra is very good at increasing blood flow. And so it can increase blood flow to the lungs of these kids and they live full lives on Viagra. What AI can do is the point of connection there between pulmonary arterial hypertension, which is that pediatric illness and erectile dysfunction and heart disease is increasing blood flow. And so what artificial intelligence can do is it can look for those points of connection between drugs and diseases. What's a similarity between two diseases or maybe a similarity between two drugs? Can we find a mutual connection between them? The reason we really need AI is that there are 4,000 drugs and in total there are 18,000 diseases. And so if you tried every drug in every disease, it would be 75 million tries. Us humans can't actually look across 75 million connections and be like, oh, that looks good or that doesn't look as good. And so what we use AI for is to actually give us a score for all 75 million calculations. So if you tried every drug for every disease, us humans can look at the things at the top and be like, what are the things that are scoring 0.99? Wow, this looks really promising. Let's look into it further. We get really smart humans to look at them and say, wow, should we do some more laboratory work? Should we do clinical trials? Or should we just go right to raising awareness because this looks so promising.